It can be a gas too, but in this case, you know, it was uh, they they made it into a rock. So all of them are non-metal chloride. Uh, you guys are saying no. It's a non-metal. <laughs> so basically, um, in the pigments, okay, to know about the pigments, it's kind of so much easier when you understand about metals, elements, and non-metal. For example, if I say cadmium green, uh, cadmium yellow, probably I have cadmium yellow in there, don't I? And that's going to tell me a lot of information about what this pigment is like, how I can mix it, and how toxic it is. All right? Now, if I have uh, a pigment that's containing a metal, for example, cadmium yellow. Actually, this pigment here, cadmium yellow, it's containing a metal, it's containing cadmium, which is cadmium, cadmium, this one, right? And if I have another pigment like phallocyanine green, phallocyanine green basically is made from carbon. This one doesn't contain any metal, so these are opposites as can be. Um, how would I how would I call this one in chemistry, and how would I call this one? Basically, is my question. But we have fun. So this one, made from carbon only, phallocyanine green. You know that pigment doesn't have any metal inside. This one, cadmium yellow medium, has cadmium inside. This one is a metal compound. This one is a, doesn't contain any metal. There's a, there's a name for that, a special name in chemistry which we use. And this is just my little trivia. If you don't find it, it's fine. But that's also. The reason I'm, I'm bringing out that term is if you go anywhere out and you want to have a conversation with someone you know, that's in the paint or in the pigment, you kind of need to know these terms because that's, these are the terms you know, that we classify pigments from. Yeah, well, that's, uh, that was very hard to get because I didn't explain. So she said, is this organic and inorganic? And that's the right answer. Now, which one's organic? Which one is inorganic, you think? The fallow green is inorganic. The fallow green is inorganic? Okay, and the, this would be organic? How many people agree? You agree? Good friends. <laughs> and uh, so the other people, uh, who has... Who, who really doesn't understand what's going on? Please raise your hand. <laughs> no, you guys understand? It's okay. It's fine. Oh, ah, you don't? Wow, oh, perfect. So basically, I asked, I said, this pigment here, okay, is made from carbon, basically. There are other things, but basically made from carbon. So it doesn't contain any of those metals here. And this pigment here has cadmium, you know, inside. And I said, basically, this is the same split that I've been talking about. Some pigments have metals and some pigments don't. And that's how we can very classify them and everything else. And I said, there's a name for that. There's a name for a compound, not only a pigment that doesn't contain any metal. And I was trying to find what that name is. She said, this one here, the carbon base, is inorganic. Okay, because organic and organic is the term that I was looking for. She said that this one, um, you know, doesn't uh, contain, you know, metal and it's inorganic. Okay, so when it's inorganic, it's because there's no metal. Well, that's it. Okay, well, because that's what she That's, you, you, you went from, you don't understand anything and you came with a good answer. <laughs> it's just because uh, for the angle of painting, I tried to make the screen. Yeah. And it doesn't wet nor grind. It's not going to wet or grind unless you <laughs> listen to my talk and then you'll be a song. So when you don't, you 
it's going to so work. So when you don't know, it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. But uh, that's, that's, that's great because um, she wasn't understanding and just by reasoning out loud, you came to the right answer. This one is organic because it doesn't contain any metal. Organic is something which doesn't contain metal in chemistry. At the food store, it's something else, whatever. But in chemistry, an organic compound is a compound, pigment or L, who doesn't contain any metal. Iron, uh, you know. Now, in the case of fallow, it's, it's a little weird because fallow does contain some metal uh, at the core of, but it's all surrounded by uh, carbons and whatnot, so you don't actually, functionally speaking, it's like it doesn't. But, you know, to be totally thorough, if you read your labels, you'll see copper phallocyanide, and you'll be like, but it said it doesn't contain a metal, but the fact is, at the center of the molecule is a copper, okay, but then all around, it's like a soccer ball, if you will, all around you've got carbon, so basically you can never react with the copper, so it's like it's not there. But copper is actually what gives fallow its super good life classes. But we'll get back to this. So basically, organic compound, no metal. Inorganic compound, metal. Is everybody on the <coughs> same page? Because I don't mind. <coughs> hmm? Yeah. If I say to you, quinacridone red, is it an organic or an inorganic pigment? Well, first, you guys have heard of quinacridone red, or maybe, yes? Okay, good. I don't know what quinacridone is. <laughs> I don't know what kind of element that quinacridone is. <laughs> That's why I brought this for you. Can you read French? Yeah. That's good. And this, we can zero for the students after the class. Actually, it's in English. So. Let me give you the right page. What I brought is uh, for you guys to have after, while she's looking it up, is uh, a listing of um, life past pigments to be used in artist paints because there are many, many pigments made. You can't use all of them to make artist paints. Why? Why do you think? Because there are many pigments made. You know, there's a lot. But we can only use so many to make artist paints. Why do you think that is? Yes. And that some are way too toxic to be used? <laughs> That's a very good point. It's true though. Because for example, lead white. Lead white used to be, and you know, every now and then people will still come to me and ask for it because it's, it was an artist pigment. You know, many people have worked with it, but it's 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 more than toxic; it's poisonous. So nowadays, you know, manufacturers, myself included, I don't want to have that in my shop. Did you find? It? Yeah, it doesn't say organic or inorganic. Of course, it doesn't say, but it's a it's a. It's but all a the other ones do. I'm sorry? All the other ones do. It says organic and inorganic next to all these colors. Except you can just read what it said and it's <laughs> going to give you. It just says hue designation quinacridone. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you think? What's your gut feeling? Well, it sounds like an inorganic. <laughs> it sounds like one of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's always one of them. Organic? Yeah. It's organic. Um, <laughs> yellow ochre. So the red is organic? Quinacridone red is organic pigment. <coughs> I'm going to give you a simple rule, but right now we're just making sure you guys understand between organic and inorganic. Um, if I say to you guys yellow ochre, what do you think? Organic, inorganic? That's a tough one. Organic. Inorganic. Okay. <laughs> Anybody else? No. No one's got an opinion? Except my front row? Okay. Uh, iron oxide, does that ring a bell? Mm -hmm. Yellow ochre is yeah. iron oxide. If it's iron oxide, it's, made of rust. it's rust. And it's from iron, so it's 
it's inorganic protein. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Hands are yellow. Okay. Yeah. Is it made from like cow pee? It's made from uh, cow pee with uh, Cambodge. Cambodge. Um, and that's a, that's a dye. We'll talk about dye a little okay. later. Um, but originally, you see a lot of these organic pigments are originally from natural dyes, which were made, you know, they were made something in order to perform in artist paintings. 